Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm not giving you just one build, we're actually doing two and this is on my Sprinkle Island of Dandelion which is an all yellow, really nice Sprinkle medical kind of island and we're going to do a museum build and we're also going to do Nook's Cranny which is going to have a little bit of an eastery twist to it. I am going to be using the bunny day furniture but just trust me on this one, I'm going to try and make it look good if that's at all possible. So without further ado, let's get into this, don't forget to like and also subscribe but here we go. So first off, here is an update on my map and this marker, where that marker is on that little island is where I want to put my museum but we have to do a little bit of work first before we can place it down. First of all, I want the island to look really natural, so I made sure to kind of curve off all of those edges to make it feel more kind of circular and a little bit round. There is still some notches here and there to make it feel like a natural island. I also had to move Henry Salves off of the island as he was just going to be in the way so much. And I also decided we needed a way to get across to the island because otherwise it's going to be a big jump and I'm not here for that. So I went for another brick bridge, which is one of my favorite bridges for this island. I'm going to try and keep them all the same, I think. And there we have it, the perfect little island, which is just waiting for my museum to be placed down and then we can get to decorating. The next morning the museum just magically appeared, I'm kidding, I actually did move it and place the museum kit down, but yes, it just magically appeared. So with that out of the way, it was time to get to placing some custom designs and some pathing. I decided to try this out for now, as you can see I did a miscalculate the entrance, I don't know why I always think it's true, but actually it is more than that, so it needed more kind of gaps in between and then I did want to work on the path as well. I'm gonna use the path that I've already kind of used for the rest of this island. Initially when I was picking my custom designs I did also put, pick up a like dirt blocky path for like the rest of the island but the way that this island is kind of progressing I don't know how I'm gonna use it so this one is definitely my favorite for now and it's so beautiful. Can you blame me? It's so lovely and it's so perfect for this kind of theme that I'm going for and I can really make everything look really natural and the yellow flowers and the white flowers they are just perfection. It probably is one of my favorite paths that I've ever used. So that is the kind of look we're going for. It's a little bit snaking but there's not a lot of room so I couldn't do like a full-on like swirling kind of path there. I did also put these bricks down because I wasn't really sure what direction I was going to go in but I don't keep them later, spoiler alert. And then I did want to cover my museum so I tried this out, I tried a few different things. I knew I wanted to use the wooden signs with the flower box design on because I think that they are really cute but I couldn't decide whether to go with the storefront or the medieval building side. In hindsight now, I don't know why I found it such a hard decision because the medieval building side is just a bit more like creamy coloured and maybe not what I'm going for. I want like nice pops of white so I did go with the storefronts and this is just a really nice combination I think. The wooden field sign things, they definitely don't get enough love and I think there's so many good designs out there that you can use on them. You just have to be a bit creative and you will definitely come up with something, not me accidentally picking them up there but yeah. They do work really nicely and this is just a really cute way to cover up your museum if you don't want it. Um, there was me again miscalculating how many designs I need for the entrance of the museum. But yeah, three wide for here so I just decided to put one little pop in the middle and then for the storefronts I decided to add them on the side as well. I did also add like some party lights in the middle of the entrance just to give it something a little bit extra and then I did want to add some other bits and pieces around so I've got the barrel in there and we'll find something to go on that later but it's looking okay so far. There goes those wooden white brick things. I don't want them. <laughs> don't want them there. I was thinking initially about having like a bit of a statue garden style to this. But then I did change my mind quite quickly on that. So that's why that's gone. The mush parasol I wanted to use because it's like nice and yellow. And then I decided to add in some fencing behind here as well. Just to like break up the back of the museum area. So hopefully that works nicely. There's not a lot of space for trees. But I did decide that I wanted like one here. Maybe just to even up the heights against the mush parasol. I don't know. But it kind of looked, it looked like it needed a tree there. 
I think trees are always a must, so <laughs> it makes sense just to have a couple there. And then around this side I just wanted some more fencing but I couldn't get through so I just picked that one up. And then that's kind of the main kind of way that I want the whole thing to look. And then it is just going to be a matter of filling things in. So I'm going to do a mixture of flowers. Obviously my colour scheme is very white and yellow so there's going to be lots of white and yellows. Um, wheat fields might feature quite heavily as well as well as things like ducks maybe a few mushrooms here and there but I think that's honestly going to be the best way to make it look good it is going to be kind of like it's in a flower field but I kind of want it to be like a little bit meadow like as well so we will see how it progresses but I think maybe just having a mixture of things around the island like using these cutout standees I just really like them I don't know why I know some people don't really like the cutout standees because they think that they're just like a bit fake but I think they're super cute and I think like little pops of grass like that are kind of realistic even though it's made out of cardboard so I don't know you're a lover or a hater of the cardboard cutout stuff I definitely think some of them are a little bit more fake looking than others but I think the little grass ones are quite nice and the bush ones aren't too bad either so the trees maybe they're a bit too far <laughs> but as you can see I'm just putting down lots and lots of different colored flowers I'm trying to mix them up as best as I can this is one of the things that I like to do when I do kind of do flower fields is definitely play around with how you place them make sure that you're not having like four of the same kind of flowers next to each other because to me I don't think that looks good as she says as she plants three cosmos next to each other that is not why I intended I promise but yeah mixing them around definitely makes it look a bit more interesting if you want you to do a heavy heavy flower area and the wheat fields I also think really help as well I did initially think that I would want to use a mixture of colors for this island because there is the one that is kind of more goldeny almost browny yellow but um I just think that I like the lighter one and using that one does I think make the whole thing feel a bit lighter and fresher which is what I want for this island even though it's like yellow and I don't know I just think that that kind of helped it a little bit uh, more flowers as you can see if you're doing this trying to space them out it does help like putting like one kind down and then just putting it elsewhere instead of just blocking out the whole kind of section at a time but either way works and you just get an idea of where you want your flowers to go and bushes do help as well that's another great item to help break up the flowers if you're wanting kind of a mix mash kind of of different flowers and items and cuteness in the end I did think that maybe there were some spots like here this one could have done with a white as opposed to a yellow but it works and I think these are the perfect spring flowers as well I do like some of the other kinds of flowers but the cosmos the tulips the hyacinths they are definitely definitely my favorites oh and the mums of course I don't know what everyone else's favorites are what is your go-to kind of spring flowers I would say because I think that there's some nice ones but some of them don't necessarily have the right kind of color tone for spring like the pink tulips to me that they are just a little bit too bright and they're probably more suited for something that is like a tropical island as opposed to a spring but honestly I think color schemes they can be so creative I'm really very intrigued to see what people come up with like taking different takes on spring islands is very interesting to me different takes on any theme of island is very interesting to me so I'm very interested to see what people come up with because I think yellow maybe is the most obvious choice for a spring island but it works and I've never done an island like this before so I really wanted to go to town with the yellow color because it's very very cute so we're approaching the end now I did paste down a lot of the flowers but as you can see it just wasn't quite working for me so I did decide to go back in add some butterflies add some decoy ducks just because there was, it was just felt a bit too flower heavy for me so I did just add in some other items as you can see I've got lots of the butterfly models again I know some people hate them but I don't mind them I'm not opposed to them and then I decided to add in a mushroom over here and then we are approaching the end of this one so here is a few shots of what the finished product looked like
So there we have it, that is the museum done and I did promise you to build so now it's time to start work on my nook's cranny. I have kind of put some trees down already mainly because my inventory was super full the other day but apart from that it's not done at all so let's get to decorating. So as always I started off with my path again. I have this lovely green one. We've already been over this, but I decided that I was gonna start off by focusing on this left-hand side. My idea for this was maybe like a little bit of a market stall setup, something very Eastery, because that is what I want my Nooks Cranny to have, like a little bit of an Easter makeover. They're having an Easter sale. There's gonna be lots of Easter eggs for sale in Nooks Cranny, so I want to have a little bit of a display, you know, like a seasonal stand, like you would expect to see in most shops around this time of year chocolate bunnies easter eggs all that good stuff so that is the path area and now it's time to go in and add the furniture but i have to add a wheat field first but now this is the stall so i decided to add in the storefront just as a like a little bit of a backer and then i wanted to try and make the balloons work because i said that i was going to try and use the bunny day furniture i also went in with the topiaries out front of notes cranny where i had put down some planks that i had so i thought that was nice the balloons weren't quite working here though so instead i switched it out for the bunny day wardrobe now some of the egg furniture definitely isn't going to work with my theme because of the colors some of them are like pink and blue which as much as I like I don't want in this particular build so I'm going to try and keep things that are like yellowy and green which is why the wardrobe works and turn around it just looks wonderful so I did kind of mess around here I added in the barrel and then I decided I didn't like it there so I switched it out for this round table with the little yellow tablecloth on I just thought that, that was cute I added in a little bit more trees back here just to fill it out the area a bit more and also decided to go in with some more of that fencing initially i wasn't going to use this fencing on this island but i've kind of grown to love it so i'm now trying to include more of that fencing everywhere normally i just go for the simple wooden fencing which is like the picket fence and yes i did show off the bunny day candy because i can't help myself <laughs> every time i try and place a bit of like food item it just always i end up clicking the show off button i think it's just i'm that ingrained in clicking the top button that it just happens and then i did decide to move around the topiaries a little bit and add in some balloons and then back over to my stool we've got the bunny ears down which I thought was a cute addition and then I just wanted this stool here but I wasn't really sure what to put on it I thought about putting some more candy and then I decided in the end that the bunny crown wasn't gonna work so instead I added in the bunny day wand which I thought was quite a nice addition you don't see people use wands very often but I think they are severely underrated people need to use more of them and then I switched out the barrel again I couldn't decide I was being very indecisive and then I actually think it was someone in my stream chat that was like why not just try using a normal barrel because I kept trying to use the pirate barrels but I actually think the color of the normal barrel does work a little bit better this is just me playing around making a mess of things as I normally do and then I was like there's not enough bunny day furniture so I added in the but the vanity this is the bunny day vanity and it's green so it kind of works but I like the height of the the vanity compared to the wardrobe I think it's kind of cute and then more bunnies there's got to be bunnies everywhere so that is what I added out front and I just moved that stall over a bit and now it was time to work on that path again this I just kind of want it to snake through a little bit this isn't gonna leave me a lot of room for like decoration out front but hopefully we can get some like natural stuff in and really make this build about the size of Nook's Cranny as opposed to like what's out front of it so I did add in the bunny day planter because even though they are have quite a few different colors in them I thought they were really cute and I don't know if you missed it but chat had a genius idea they were like why don't you just place one down of the bunny day fence and it gave me the perfect size egg so I quickly switched that out and did add that in over on the left hand side honestly didn't think about it but it is a genius idea um so if you're wanting to do like an eastery build and you're like maybe you want to do an egg hunt or something like that don't sleep on the bunny day fence it's so good and it is the perfect size to have dotted eggs around everywhere obviously you can't put them too close to one another otherwise it will join up and make a whole fence but it does look very cute and then out front was just kind of looking a little bit bare i 
moved the planter quite a lot and I couldn't decide whether to have it pushed in or pushed out and then I wanted to use this flag so I did rotate it around and get it the right way that I wanted it to look and then I was like what do I put on the other side I didn't know so we just went with the bunny that's basic I know <laughs> And then I was like, the path is looking a little bit bare. So we did add just in a bit more path. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to put flowers here, but I'm going to still try and get as many flowers as I can dotted in and around. And fingers crossed, it will work out and look okay. This area, I didn't know what to do. I had such a struggle, but I did decide to put down a little cutout standee just to make it feel like more nature some bushes and more wheat fields. But I thought it missed something. So I decided it maybe needed a bench just something somewhere where you can sit perhaps so that's what I tried to do next I thought that the bear was a cute addition I really want this island to be all about cuteness and adorable things so I am gonna try and use more bunny bunny furniture and more obviously bears and cuddly toys and cute things I think that that would just really help make it feel a little bit more eastery and then some playing party lights out the front and this point I was like the zen bench I'm not feeling that color so I did decide to switch it up and go for a bit more of a brighter yellow I do still have some more custom design slots and I do still want to find some more yellow patterns because I love the ones that I have but I just want a little bit more variety and I think that there could be some nice ones out there still so I need to do some more searching for some more codes honestly codes it feels like it's a never-ending sort of thing that I want to kind of get right because I think that they are and it will be what makes and breaks my islands that's for sure because of the amount of custom designs that I use and then this is over on the right hand side of Nook's Cranny there is an incline down to like an open area here there's not a lot there at the moment it's not really big enough for like a house or something so if anyone has any ideas of what I could put down there I am thinking maybe like a little bit of a a market down there have like a split level kind of tie it in with Nook's Cranny a little bit we'll see how that works but this side over here as you can see I'm just putting down lots more path but this is where I want my deliveries to be so that's why I'm trying to make this a nice big area fill it with paths and then that should give me a good space to get all of the items that I want in here I'm thinking like there's been a fresh delivery of new seasonal stock so it's overflowing that's the look that I kind of want to go with obviously I had to pick the yellow truck I could have custom designed it a bit more and then I just added in some more like containers these box of crates are great and I love that they come in yellow I also wanted to include this giant egg again because I think it is is working I'm I'm here for it I never thought that I would say I was here for the funny day furniture but I kind of am I kind of am and I think it kind of works with this theme obviously if someone ever decided to I bet they've done this but a kid core Easter Island oh my gosh it would look cute I wouldn't use them in a normal build if I was just trying to do like a normal kind of cottage core star build I couldn't use them I don't think I could make them work but yeah showing off the bunny day candy yet again typical 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 i nearly did it another time as well but i actually took my time and checked what i was putting down so this is kind of how i want it i like the addition of the conveyor belt i think the conveyor belt and the truck is a great combination i really love that decided to add in another egg back there just so you can see it peeking out over the boxes which i thought was nice and then here is what the finished build looks like i hope you enjoyed it So there we have it that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed these builds i hope they gave you some inspiration if you're working on a sprinkle island i'll see you again soon with another one bye bye